Hey what's up everybody in today's video I'll be showing you guys how you can boot Android Q GSI on Moto G5 S Plus that is Sanders and before starting this video I would like to thank the maintainer of this Android Q he is Paradox a great thanks to you and because of him we are able to boot Android Q on our Moto G5 S Plus so without wasting any further time let's get started Now the very first thing that we need to do is we need to go to the TWRP and go ahead to the backup section and make sure that our storage is selected to internal. Now select the vendor image partition and swipe to confirm it. I will be not taking a backup as I have already taken the backup. So now we will reboot the system. Wait until the system reboots. Now all you need to do is go into the description and download the Android QGSI. The Android QGSI will be named as X Factor 1.3. Now, as this is a zip file, we need a tool to extract it. In this case, I am using Z Archiver, and all you need to do is extract it to your desired directory. Now, once all of the Android QGSI contents are extracted, you will find a folder named X Factor 1.3, and you can find all these contents over there. Now, we need to go into the file manager and move all of these contents that we just extracted from X Factor 1.3 to the folder that is TWRP and the backup that we just made at the starting of the video. Now before flashing the GSI make sure that you take the backup of your apps, contacts, photos and everything in case if something goes wrong. If you don't know how, make sure that you tap the card above or go into the description down below. Now assuming that you took the backup, all you need to do is reboot to recovery. You can use the magic method or the traditional holding the power button and the volume down button simultaneously. It's your choice. Now once you are successfully booted into the TWRP, now all you need to do is go ahead to wipe section. Go to advanced wipe and select talvik slash art cache data system and cache and make sure that you allow twrp to wipe all the selected directories and wait until all of the directory is wiped now once it's wiped go home go to the restore section and there you will find your backup folder tap on it and you should see these three now swipe to restore it and wait until everything is successfully restored now once all of the three partitions are successfully restored, all you need to do is go home, go to reboot and in reboot select system. Now wait for the system to reboot. As this is a GSI, it will usually take about 2 to 3 minutes to boot and at max 5 minutes. Now while your GSI will be booting, you might see a different boot animation because Paradox, who is the maintainer of this GSI, have changed the boot animation. Now, if you have ever flashed a GSI before, you might know that GSIs are full of bugs. So, before flashing or before following this procedure, make sure that you go to the description down below and read all the bugs and problems related to this GSI. And also, this detailed guide will be on my website, which will be linked just below that like button so make sure that you press the like button and go ahead to my website now you might not see most of the google apps and you don't need to flash majesk as this gsi is pre-rooted now before installing any app make sure that you restart the gsi but the gsi won't restart with the usual method so you need to do is hold the power button for almost seven or 5 seconds and the GSI will automatically reboot so that is it for today guys hope you enjoyed this video and find this helpful and once again I would like to give a great shout out to the maintainer of this GSI paradox and make sure that you head over to my website and follow the detailed guide so thank you guys for watching make sure you like the video thanks